And he would throw the keyboard at me. So we started the set and I, for some reason I decided to play a ballad, a second tune in, and it was really the wrong move because they were, they were really up for a groove, you know, they were kind of standing and dancing and so I, I knew immediately that the ballad was wrong so I, I got through it and then at the end of the song I made a movement to Tom like this, went like that, to basically get on with the next song. He misinterpreted that and threw me the keyboard at the end of Blame It On My Youth. Um, so I'm standing there with the keyboard, and uh, everyone's looking at me, and so I just start smashing it up at the end of a ballad. Um, and, and the bloody thing wouldn't break. I was like, I wasn't doing a Hendrix. I was going, oh, oh. <laughs> and I was just being watched by all these people. Like, what the fuck is that guy doing? What the hell is that guy doing? Very confusing. And so the worst bit was, after that, we planned this great duet with Michael Franti. You know Michael Franti from Spearhead? Yeah. And uh, that dude doesn't wear any shoes. So he walks onto stage, and like within minutes, the whole stage is covered in blood. Michael Franti's blood. He comes on to do a rap in the middle of front end. Oh, there's blood on the stage, bits of keyboard. It was a disaster. So um, if, if there's any members of the press there, that's my story. That's the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me. Uh, and Michael Franti, probably. Um, so thanks, Tom, for misinterpreting that single. Uh, single, single. Um, I would like to play a, a love song for you now. Um, uh, so please don't throw me anything to smash up at the end of this one. Um, this is uh, the only love song I've ever written without a joke in it for my wife. It's called Love Ain't Gonna Let You Down.